Hey, welcome back everyone. I got one of these and what I'm going to do is use it to get my tires, especially the big tires, on the truck back on the rims. So what I'm going to do is unbox this thing and put it to use after I put it together. I got the five gallon size. They make this in ten gallons and five gallons and I figured five would be sufficient for me, especially if I can't get it together or it doesn't work properly. I don't know. Oh yeah, and I uh, got this on eBay. There is some weight to this. Nothing else in the box I see. One of the nicer little five gallon tanks. Teflon tape. That's nice. This is a metal nozzle. I was kind of expecting plastic, but this is metal. The on off valve or fill valve, I mean, this might be probably a pop-off valve. Yeah, this is the major component here. That, uh, yeah, stiff when you first try it. Looks to be fairly good. And what do we got here? Oh yeah. Okay, here's an oil filled gauge. That's a plus. Very nice. Get some tools and put her together. This tank, really kind of cool. Now, it didn't come with any instructions. So, here's the deal. I had to go back to eBay and look at one of the pictures of how they had this set up and uh, the uh, this. <laughs> okay, this pressure gauge goes there. The fill gauge goes here. And the pop-off goes over here. This, uh, what, 14 millimeter will fit. pressure gauge and the pop-off. It also probably a 9 sixteenths do the same. However, it does not fit this. So what I'm going to use is a crescent wrench, small crescent wrench. This thing here actually screws into this and this is what allows the discharge from the, the tank and uh, I might use a strap wrench to put it on or for this piece. Now this piece here is going to be a crescent wrench. It's brass. You don't want to over tighten this or bend it anything like that. And you won't have a good day if you do that. Set that aside. I've also used Teflon uh, pipe seal this is really good stuff. It makes things so slippery though you can over tighten them. A lot of times I actually use both. I don't know why, but I do. I want to get these uh, tape on these gauges and uh, other fittings. It's not gauges, gauge and tape on the other fittings as well. Yeah. This also has a 
fitting for your air hose to connect to. I'm supposed to put some stuff on it too. I am going to put the fill valve, I mean the pop-off valve in first. I'll tell you what I'm going to do though. You really don't need a wrench with that one. That's tight enough. Another turn on that would be too much. I'm not happy with this at all. The Teflon tape is the worst. give you enough tape here you can wrap it around more than once that's for sure That's okay. Let's close. That's open. Closed. Open. Seems to work fairly well. Just on the chance this is going to work, I'll put a little on it. So let's test the Harbor Freight strap wrench here. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's pretty tight. Right where it is. We gotta have the handle up here where we can get to it. Yeah. That's that's too darn tight right there. I can't get another turn on that. about it. It'll conform to the rim, won't it? <laughs> okay, so there's the trials of putting one of these together. So let's take this over and see if she works. They say to wear ear protection, so I gotta go get some earplugs and my safety glasses.
This is Cars, Trucks, and Detours, aka Steve AZ711. So far, so good with this little machine. And till the next video, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. I've got these earplugs in my ears and I can't hear myself talk. And uh, till the next video, yep. bye for now.